All right, sorry about that. Just had to take care of some personal business there for a second. Okay, now we're back. All right, so we're going to drop these items off back at the item box so we can pick up that magnum ammo. And we're going to stop by that room we also unlocked because there's probably more goods in there. So let's take a look at the map. What do we uh, have so far that we could potentially explore? Um, okay, there's that hallway in the 4A that we can probably cut through. Uh, actually, that's about it. Damn. Okay. Uh, we also got that battery, which goes... Okay, I remember this specifically because it caused me so much fucking problems on my first run. We have to take that back to a random one-off spot in the area between the guest house and the main mansion. And we gotta use the crank and stuff for uh, something relating to that. Honestly, the fact that they expect you to remember that is... A little annoying. <laughs> Just like, especially if you didn't check it. Hmm, okay. Back inside. Okay, dump the acid rounds. How much acid rounds do we have? Twelve. Uh, put those back in. We got twelve. Another set somewhere. Yeah, we do. We got another set. Another six, so that's 18 plus eight explosive rounds. We got a. We're packing some heat. We're doing pretty good. Alright, let's go pick up more. More stuff. More stuff. Run these people's pockets. Run their pockets, I say. Oh, more explosive rounds. Nice. Grenade shells. Oh, and another dagger. We'll take that. And the little statue head that's following us. I'm gonna take what's in your head. Or not. Okay, well, there is some... Oh, wait, there's a note here, too. Uh, okay, we're not reading on that one anymore. Okay, there's a couple of them in here. Okay. Okay, looks like we gotta reset the desks. Alright, exit the room. Because, uh, we're pulling it, pulling a, a simple, uh, shelf away from a wall. That's, uh, that's too much to ask for. That's, that's ridiculous. We can only push, not pull. Okay, here we go. Yeah, just push that closer. Around this way, push you against the wall. Okay, fine, we'll push you there first, because that one seems to be already against the wall. Yes, I would like to take the jewel. The yellow chaos emerald. We're gonna use that on the other animal statues. And a red one. Yes, I would like to take it. Thank you, the red chaos emerald. Uh that's all that's left. Yep. Alright. In the meantime, we'll go pick up that last little bit of Magnum ammo and then we'll go downstairs.
Also, yeah, today is International uh, Women's Month. Go women, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Month or day? I don't know. One or the other. I thought it was a day. I think it's a day. I mean, if it's just, if it's the month, it's weird to start celebrating that like eight days in. <laughs> I was gonna say. <laughs> We're a little late to the message there. Pretty sure it's Women's Day, not Women's Month. Did I say month? You did, yes. Oh, I did. No, shit. Sorry. <laughs> How dare you make mistakes, Gabe? You're so uh, crazy. how dare I give women a month? How dare I? <laughs> Honestly. I'm just a cringe beta cuck now, aren't I? No, yes, this I cannot be! Ah! You've lost your base card. I'm sorry yeah. to tell you. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How do I get my base card back? <laughs> uh, for the time being, after the said cringe comments, you cannot know. Oh, no. It's like cringe I'm, jail. I'm cringe. I, the Funko Pops are appearing in my room as I speak. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I was like, did you hear that they dumped 30 million worth of Funko Pops into a landfill because it was no. cheaper? That is hilarious. Literally, it's just cheaper to throw them away than selling, honestly. I... <laughs> I mean, I saw something recently, the other day, that apparently there was about $200,000 worth of sealed magic product that was in, apparently in a landfill because of the fact that the uh, it was like sealed packs and stuff, and apparently the boxes were considered as damaged, so because of that, they just decided to get a reimburse, to just uh, reimburse the product, and then just like, throw them in the garbage. That's a massive waste. Oh, hello. It was so I'm not sure who found it, but I'm pretty sure it was like a a, a dump truck, a, a worker of the dump or a garbage company or something, who just found. I, I forget how much it was. I think it was like either six or eight pallets worth of like magic booster packs. I I absolutely think you can make money from that somehow. I don't understand why you, you would throw it away. You, you, Honestly, it kind of infuriates me. Just because it's like, bro, you, there's there's no need if you just throw the shit away. You know, if the if the packaging is you know damaged, guess what? Who cares? Selling, it's like no, but because the thing is that when it comes to selling the products, you can't really sell the the boxes if they're damaged. So there is that. But there's the whole thing of like you know people act as if you can't just crack open the booster packs. And instead of selling them as, you know, sealed product, just crack the packs and sell the individuals. It sells a card, okay. Pretty much. I mean, I'll be real, like, I don't... Oh, sp speak... Oh. What was that? No, sorry, I'm playing for it. Okay. I mean, I'm more speaking from the angle, like, maybe it's a legality thing, you can't sell a damaged product, but, like, I I'm speaking from the angle, like, who who would care if they sold, sold and it was damaged? Like, the box. Oh, there are people who would care. Oh, okay. Like, collectors and shit, I assume? Uh, there's that, and also, I guess there's the whole thing of if people find out that their product was damaged on the way, on like, on the way getting to them, they kind of feel uneasy and shit. Because it's like, well, you know, why is it that this shit was broken? I mean, but we, were, but we already know that it wasn't because of anything, like, terrible. It's just, like, the boxes are broken. Like, if they made an announcement saying, hey, look, all these boxes are broken, but the cards inside are fine, and, like, we'll sell them at, like, a discounted price or something. See, but once again, Gabe, that requires a brain. I mean, oh, okay, you know what? Yeah, that's fair. You know what? Maybe I'm assuming too much. <laughs> a lot of these companies, people who claim to know what they're doing, in reality, have no fucking clue how to run a business. Yeah, you know what, Cameron? You're absolutely right. Uh, shame on me for it's trying fun. to <laughs> it's, it's like, honestly, I'm kind of disappointed you would think the company knows how to run its own company. Yeah, as well. well. What's the company behind MTG exactly? What's their name? Oh, uh, Watsies, Wizards of the Coast. Oh, oh okay, you know, that, oh, never mind, that, that makes infinite sense. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hasbro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that checks out, that checks out. Oh. <laughs> never mind, continue on. <laughs> Pretty bad. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty bad. The amount of fuck. Oh my god. 
I, I'm not, obviously I'm not, you know, you're not much a Magic fan, but the funniest fucking thing, the biggest uproar for the 30th annual thing of Magic's history, mm-hmm. they released uh, proxies. If you don't know what proxies are, proxies are essentially just Copies. fake versions of certain cards. Yeah, essentially, uh, yeah. Okay. So what they did is they essentially printed out, uh, like, official proxies of some of the most expensive cards in the game except for the problem is that they're not tournament legal and awesome <laughs> and like the odds of getting the best card like the most expensive one with the odds of getting it were like one in every 200 packs or whatever and the packs were like i think like a hundred or like i was this crazy amount of money for individual. yeah a lot it's a lot of fucking money and like, you can't like, use like, them well, like, more than usual kind of thing. Like, it was, like, a special advertisement thing, so they were really trying to push the, the, their profits. Mm. And the odds of getting good cards were very low. Um, you couldn't legally use them in any tournaments. Because they're too big. Another thing that was kind of, like... I mean, to be fair, imagine... Okay, uh, like, imagine shuffling a deck, but one of your cards is, like, abnormally big. Imagine how annoying that would be. Yes. But it's also, but not only that, it's also the fact that if you're in a legal tournament and you're using a proxy and the tournament doesn't light up proxies and they find out, you will get immediately kicked out of the tournament. <laughs> because, well, yeah, there's the whole thing of the owning the cards and shit. So yeah. That's why like, that's like, like, obviously in the play groups, I have, like, a, a lot more casual players, they'll obviously don't mind proxies because people understand cards are mm. fucking expensive. But, like, in, like, at, like official tournaments, they're going to be a little, like, on you about that. Yes, I was uh, I was more thinking like imagining like imagine sitting at like a, a desk of another player and they're using one of these proxy cards that are bigger and you can see like in the deck they're in the the hand they're holding that one of the cards is bigger and you're just like oh, I wonder what card they're using. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be kind of a bit of a dead dead giveaway. Yeah, kind of like oh you, you'll never know what I'll play next. Are you yeah, sure? Really funny, like, depending on the certain. Uh cards there are certain older cards that are, are like jumbo formatted cards so you can have like one like literally a comically large i don't think it's legal like, <laughs> comically you, large you literally can have a comically large individual card in your deck of cards i'm not sure if it's legal or how you would shuffle that but no i just think it's fucking funny like the biggest self-report in a game Oh, a snake. That I'm not exactly prepared to fight. Ow. Please don't bite me. I uh, I wasn't exactly expecting you to be here. Uh, I kind of forgot about you. Please don't hurt me. Ooh. Oh, okay. We are out of ammo. Creamed your what? No. I traded. I just. Oh. Me and someone died the exact same time. Okay. Why the hell did I think you said creamed? What the fuck? <laughs> I. I took a, a mouthful of pizza as soon as you said that, and I had to immediately put my <laughs> side to clarify. Like, no, 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 I did not say that. Cameron, <laughs> this is going on YouTube, mind you. <laughs> You can't just say that. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow. Oh, fuck. Uh, combined. Okay, we're gonna have to use these herbs. Big. Yeah, but... You're not gonna get any flags, whatever the odds. Oh, yeah. Who, who's fucking watching this? <laughs> I was trying to find a funny, non-asshole way of saying that, but I would just... <laughs> <laughs> Cameron, I'm more than aware that no one watches this shit. I don't care. This is just 
basically what all of someone watching you in the first place would have to you know <laughs> someone someone reporting you would would have to imply that someone has watched you in the first place <laughs> not even the youtube bots watching no it's a fucking auto bot that's just meant to ban you just exactly for... specifically me just because Nah, but this is just more for me to like, um, because I have a lot of games in my libraries that I, I have not touched. This is more a thing for me to like go back and like, you know, give myself a reason to play them without having to just okay. buy more games that, uh, <laughs> that I'm not yeah, going to play. Alright, All right, so now that snake's dead, we can head on back. See, so yeah, there's another medallion in here, so we'll open up this book. Hello. Oh, I'll check that later. All right, so these we're going to be using to get the magnum in a little bit. There's one more left. Uh, we're going to grab them. We're going to head towards uh, the waterfall and access all the shit behind there. That's not the right way. Go this way. There we go. Much better. Uh, wait, no. It's this door. Away the shotgun. Let's actually reload it. Um, where are my shotgun shells? There they are. And we'll put the medallions back. We don't need those right now. Uh, we are starting to run out of shotgun ammo, which is a little concerning, but uh, we we won't need it as much after we get out of the mansion and deal with a couple of the hunters. We probably won't need it till the lab section again, which uh, it's pretty big, big if true. Big if true. Big if true. Big if true. Also, Cameron, I wanted to ask you about uh, your job. Um, if you were to oh. give your uh, uncle, like, uh, let's say, a uh, warning in advance that, like, one night you uh, you can't do snow removal, would that work? Uh, depends. Why? Why do you have in mind? Uh, I was going to ask if you want uh, f if you were going to be busy next Friday. I should be good. What do you have in mind? Well, I'm it's... pretty sure that the season is relatively died down at this, at this point well you yeah, really with the way this winter has been you, you we really don't know <laughs> that is fair but yeah because uh, next week is the 17th which uh i want to do some uh fun stuff that night oh, it's your birthday actually. yeah 20 i don't i don't want to talk i really uh, I don't want to. I know I'm getting old. <laughs> I, I know. Old man, big boomer. Uh, I'm not a boomer. <laughs> I'm like two years older than you. Sounds like boomer, and all I hear is boomer. I'm not a. I am not a boomer. All I hear is boomer. Oh, uh, you're the boomer. No, I'm younger than you. I can't be a boomer. Uh, you could be a boomer and be younger than me. If I'm only if I'm if I'm only twenty turning twenty four and I'm a boomer, then you're in full range of being a boomer. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I work in customer service. It's impossible for me to be a boomer. Oh, okay, okay. There are plenty of boomers that work in customer service. There are literally literal ninety year olds that have not retired because they can't afford. And that's gonna be our future. Oh, hello, buddy. Goodbye, buddy. Isn't that fun? Yeah. I can't. I can't wait to be working when I'm like, one hundred. Oh 
honestly can't wait to have no future. Yeah. It's it's hype. Oh. It's pretty hype. Not gonna lie, kinda pog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's everything in here. Uh Ooh, this jewelry box. Okay, I remember this jewelry box from my uh, my uh, previous playthrough of Chris. Uh, not 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 our Chris. Chris is a character in the game. You play as two characters. So oh. one of the, I, that sounded confusing, so I thought I should clarify that. Uh, because uh, so its solution makes no sense. So I'm gonna get back to the item box first to demonstrate that. Because it's some horse shit. Hold on. Uh. Where we go? Do we got anything left we gotta do? Uh, I mean, there's the basement, but I don't know what the fuck's in that basement, so we're not wasting our time. Let's just get back to the item box. One more turn to corner. All right, let's open this bad boy up. Alright, so this item box is going to require this the other gemstone we got from the room. So let me just go pick that up. Okay, there we go. The red gemstone. This is what's required to solve this puzzle. Now, if we take a look at the box, you'll notice that little indentation is round. No, there are no hard, hard edges. It's round. And when we take a look at the gemstone, mostly hard uh, surfaces that are not rounded. However, somehow, it goes right inside, no problems whatsoever. Massive horseshit. This literally stopped me for an hour because I couldn't figure it out. Actual horseshit. And now we have this puzzle to do. There we go. Okay. Not because bad. Uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I think that's a that's a poorly conveyed uh puzzle. A little bit. I, I w I'm confident in saying that's not a skill issue and that that's just bad. Okay, let's take a look at this again. This would go here. Oh, that seems close enough. Uh, there we go. Slide it around a little bit. Oh, oh, uh, there we go. Come on. There we go. And this little brooch is going to get us access to the last room of the mansion. This is the stupidest fucking puzzle because, like, it's just, why is it round? That emerald is not round. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm just big baby. Big, big baby of I can't fit thing in thing makes me mad. Yeah. As I get older, I, uh, it's like we're, it's like Benjamin Button. Uh, I get younger and younger, except it's just progressively more and more of a larger baby. All right. Put in a little save and we'll continue on. 
Oh, our little guy's still locked behind the desk because of that uh, he can't figure out how to climb above it. What a moron. <laughs> Stay there forever. Oh, okay, I guess they're never going to break through those windows. I guess, it's a, I guess that's just uh, limited to the other campaign then. Weird. Small thing to change too. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, there's some in here. There is some stuff in here that's not good. Hello! Stay down! Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, taser works? Yeah, oh no, the knife works. Haha, uh -huh, get stabbed. Nerd. Okay, you're hitting me. Don't do that. That's rude. Damn, bro. Okay, he did no damage, you weak-ass bitch. <laughs> Got no hands. He ain't throwing shit. Yep, use the emblem key, no further use, throw it away. Too dark. All right, turn on the light. Press it. Okay, so this is one of the emblems we're going to need to get underneath everything. Battery pack. Is that it? It's got a beautiful headshot, Frank. Nice. Through a, through a window. To the wall? No, this guy just got a kill. He was camping at top, and I just killed him. Mm. It was beautiful. Absolutely, one, Kino. One, one shot, I dinked him, and just went down. It felt so good. Oh, you gotta be, yeah, I'd be, I'd be proud of that. <sighs> oh, shotgun. Okay, I'll use that to reload. And that's all that's in here. Uh, what other rooms are left? So is that one of the fish stuff that we haven't properly searched? You know what? Let's go back and check that. Something in, something's in there. And I got a feeling I have the stuff to solve it. I'm just too dumb to do it. Me and my... Hmm. Oh, most people are stupid. It's not something to be ashamed of. That is fair. Hmm. We've seen some stupid people, so... Oh, we, wow. we we know. It's, it's like almost impressive at how dumb people I've seen. Yeah. Because it's once again also working in the customer service industry. <laughs> seeing first hand as like... Like, especially at, like, a grocery store kind of place. Like, just how stupid some people can be. Honestly, it's amazing that some people can even figure out how to breed. Honestly. Some people shouldn't, honestly. 
Oh, uh, yeah, okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a slippery slope. Let's not go there. <laughs> Are like a survival of the fittest. Oh god. I almost got run over by a fucking truck. Oh my god. that much. I almost got run over, but thankfully just got into a truck right before I got run over. And now, where's this guy? Not chasing me, I don't think. Oh, I have to drive in this truck anyway. Oh. Holy fuck, it's so slow. Yeah, it's in here. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that explains it. Oh, yeah, so I could have done this before. I'm just dumb. Oh, use. We go and put this over here. There we go. Press it. Hey, another emblem. Nice. Oh, that bee's alive. Hey, buddy. Please get out of my face. You, you need to ask him to leave you be... Honestly. Oh, oh, God damn it, Cameron. <laughs> I just realized what you said. Good. <laughs> I can't believe it. You would actually say something as shitty as that. Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> oh, honey, I don't know what to do with you. You have to be race yourself. <laughs> Wait, what's where's the pun there? That that doesn't mean anything. Erase, erase, erase. Uh, your... But that one doesn't work. You doesn't be in a race. Brace yourself. Be race yourself. Uh, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I guess it's a bit of a bit of a stretch. But... Yeah. Okay, these emblems. What do I do with them? I think they already go in the back. We can check there. Uh, we'll also bring the crank and the battery. Uh, I love crank. Crank. Crank, crank, crank on the trolley. And we'll put the shotgun away so we have some room. Also, wait, is this door fixed, or is it, uh... Hey, the door's repaired! I don't have to go all the way around the fucking mansion just to get through a single door. Seriously, you're a cop. Just break the door. Right. You're a cop. Break the law. Yeah, it's it's, it's an old-ass mansion. It's made of wood. Just break the wall. You have a grenade launcher, too. Just break the wall. Honestly, these puzzles should not mean anything to you. Also, there is something left up. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, I see. Hold on, if we have both of these, can't we... Okay, hold on, we're not gonna go there just yet. We're gonna go back. Because I think we can use these on the door in the main hall.
Oh, wait, this isn't the right door. Now, wait, go back. Turn me around. So much back and forth, so much busy work. Let's go. Come on. This way, there we go. Okay, now they're breaking through. Right when it's a little inconvenient. Go of me, you stupid dog. Go, let go, let go. Bad dog. How much damage should that do? Oh, too much. Okay, it's dead. We don't need to worry about it anymore. God, that took them a while to break through that. Like, literally, <laughs> we're about to basically leave this place to and never come back, and they're now breaking through that. That shit usually happens at the start. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. So can this fit in here now? Because these are hexagon shaped, aren't they? Ugh. Oh yeah, they fit in here. Okay, so you just can't fit in there. Alright, good to know. Alright, let's head back. like how it's absolutely pitch dark out of those windows specifically and there's like no trees or anything just void those dogs literally came out of a void in time and space just to bite my fucking ankles absolute menace to the fight mm. no that's what uh oh, i mean those aren't pit bulls those are uh they look like dobermans so we'll say dobermans are just a menace like that Some of them can be a bit scary at times. Yeah. Damn, bro. I'm getting emoted on. Feels bad. <laughs> That's a shame. That's no. just, just leak his IP address. Honestly? <laughs> big? My pet big and fruit. Like one like and a leak his IP address. Like his own post. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One single like on this video and we'll we'll leak his IP address. Like on video, say no more. <laughs> okay. I'm still gonna need those, so we'll take out the first aid spray. Chug that, alright. 
Uh, question is, can we use this emblem to open up the back door? Because I'd really rather not go back to the main lobby again. Hell, I don't even know if I can take that emblem out now, now that it's put in. Oh, wait, that's why it was the, map, the room was red on the map, because there was an item left in it. I'm stupid. Stupid. Yeah, I'm stupid. That's fine. Yeah. You don't get anywhere in life without being a little I stupid. You. I won't treat you any lesser. Oh, thank you, Cameron. That means a lot. Thanks. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, so that one doesn't fit in, so we gotta gotta run back to the front of the house again. Uh No, it's back here. I don't need to go back to that room again. Come on down. Yeah, I just want to take that back out. I'm going to need that. Okay, we're like two hours in, so... We're going to head back to that save point again, and we're going to hit a save, and we're going to call it you gotta run through literally half of this house again one room uh, 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 uh. dual room uh, uh, Three room. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, four room. Ah, ah, ah. Just ah, ah. Just ah. <laughs> just, just screaming in pain, going through doors. Ah. <laughs> That's what happens when you try to open a door with wankers cramp. Just like ah. Pain. Hey, yo, how, how would you know what it's like to walk with like, have a wanker? Because I'm a healthy 24-year-old man, Cameron, that's why. I see. How healthy are we talking here? Uh, pretty healthy. Good. So, uh, you know, I'm not the most fit man, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, not, I'm not, like, completely out of shape. Alright, use ink ribbon. See, my logic is round as a shape, therefore I am in shape. Exactly. Well, I said to save. All right, folks, uh, we're about wrapped up on the mansion section for the revisit. So now we have the mines, some one other thing to do in the mansion than the labs, and we're going to be done for this run. I think that's going to be about uh, what, three more parts. Well, we'll see. Anyways, so if you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Maybe I'll delete it just to uh, you know, spite you. And uh, and if you like this, if we get one like on this video, we'll leak someone's IP address. Not actually, for the sake of uh, federal investigation, we won't actually do that. This is a, this is a joke. <laughs> joke for non-legal reasons, you'll fucking do it. For le yes, exactly. For legal reasons, I have to say this is a joke. But yeah, uh, and you know, leave a comment, all that, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Drink water and uh, adios.